all these Lego heads? Like any other Lego fan, I have a huge collection of minifigures. Some assembled and some not assembled. I like to take all my unassembled minifigures and really divide them up. And that means taking off all of their heads. If you wanted to, you could just put all the heads loose into this bin. But instead, I chose an alternate method. This method is very, very easy and it can be done with just Lego minifigures heads and a bunch of plates. To do this method, all you need to do is have some plates. They can be 2x2 two two plates, they can be 2x6 plates, or even longer plates. I use 2x10 plates. Not because it's easier, not because anything really specific at all, but just because I had the most 2x10 plates in my collection when I was doing this. To start off this process, you need all your Lego heads, as well as whatever size plate you're going to be using. For the video, I'm going to use 2x10s. You want to set your 2x whatever plate down, it doesn't really matter, and you just want to get like a handful of heads. And what you're going to do is you're going to put each head on a stud. But you can't put them side by side, so you have to stagger them. One every stud, basically. One every other stud. You can put them however you want. I find it so much easier if you put the printing facing outward, and you'll know why in a minute. So you just keep continuing this process until you get to the very end, and as you can see, there's a stud left over. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it around, and you're going to repeat the exact same process. Except you're going to stagger them the other way. This works out because you couldn't do it the other way because you can't put too many figures heads on studs so that, that would, and if you could that'd just be weird. But, so I have two heads left over, I'll just put them back in the bin. This works out because now you can see if one head has printing on it or if it's got a solid back. See, you know that there are some heads that do have printing but most do not. Now for the next row. If I find it easier to then stagger it again. So then what I'll do is start here. I find this easier just because then you can tell when they have heads there, when they do not have heads, and stuff like that. Sorry, I didn't even realize my hand was blocking the camera. And I just keep putting the heads on and really it's sort of a boring process, especially when you have hundreds and hundreds of heads, but it makes it a lot easier to sort. Now, once you have all the different, you know, palettes of your LEGO minifigure heads, what you're just going to do is you're going to stack them on top of each other. And there you have it. They're all stacked. And you can make this as long or as small as you want. You keep it at just one for easy storage, but if you have hundreds of heads, you just make it longer. I myself do have hundreds of Lego heads, and every head that's not on a minifigure's body is on this. In the event where you don't have enough heads to finish the, the row, I recommend you put the heads on the very end and then just don't put any heads in the middle, just because it still stabilizes it. Something I did to be a little easier when I'm searching for heads is color coat them. So basically, red the red plates are all male yellow heads, the grape with the dark bluish gray plates are the women's heads, and the black plates are the weird colored heads like flesh or black or green or all these different colors. And they're all put on with the same method on the same rack. I just wanted it just to be a little easier to tell what kind of head I'm looking for. And as you can see, I have a lot more male heads than the other different ones here. Now you might be wondering, like, how do I store that? What I do is I have this big, I have this big container here where literally the head just fit right in and I put it in my drawer. But you could just place it on your desk or something like that for decoration. But you do have to be careful where you store this because if you just have a rack of heads lying around, people might think you're a sociopath. I myself was not actually the person who came up with this. I saw this in a video by Jan Bricks, like a collection video, and this is how he sorted his heads. And I thought that was a really good idea because I just had them in one big, like, bin. And then at one point I tried to stack them on like bricks and stuff like that, but that didn't work out because I had so many heads and there was just not enough bricks. But this method really good and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now you know how to store your minifigure heads for easy accessibility, easy to see what faces you want, and it just takes up a lot less space. Thanks everybody for watching.